It's a family piece. It's just been handed down through the family. <clears throat> and it's ended up with us. It's actually Japanese. And it's the class of wear which is popularly called satsuma, uh, which is a, a, a high-fired earthenware with a crackled glaze. And the crazing on it is actually part of it. It's not a defect. Uh, it developed really in response to Japan opening up to the West, which he did uh, in 1853-54. And the Satsuma type wares, uh, one of the great makers was a man called Sobei Kinkazan. He was part of a long uh, family of potters. Now, Kinkazan was interesting because he had this factory turning out this stuff, and if you just went in and bought a piece, then you went away again. If you said, have you got any really good bits? You were taken to his own house and he had a decorating studio attached to his house where all the best stuff was done. So it was a two-tier manufacturing process. This is one of the top pieces. This is a really knockout piece. Um, it's in a form of sort of a tea canister, but I don't think it was ever meant for serious use. On the bottom, we would expect to find and indeed have got his mark, Kin Kozan, and then the bottom character is Tsukuru, uh, which means made. Round it, what appears to be just simply decoration, um, but actually, it, in very stylized characters, it says Dai Nihon, which is Great Japan, and then uh, Kyoto. The decoration on here is just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. It is just unbelievable that somebody could take a brush with enamel colors on it and do this extraordinarily detailed painting. Um, the scenes are absolutely typical. We've got a woman and her daughter there. We've got a mountainous landscape. We've got a cockerel perched on a blue rock. We've got a couple of children. Uh, another landscape with figures going up to a sort of um, house in the mountains. And here, which is very nice, a sort of dog-like character, which looks more like a cross between a dog and a cat. Um, the, the sort of grey clouds, which appear to be up here, up close, that's every single dot is painted with the single hair of a brush, and that's actual gold, and that's continued over here. Now, Kinkazan, one of his introductions was this dark blue enamel, which he then gilded. And the problem is with it, the gold doesn't like sticking on it very much and is usually worn off. Here, it's with very slight wear, um, it's still in pristine condition. The nice thing about this one is that some of the panels are actually signed by the painter and you've got at least <laughs> two painters on, uh, on this piece. And this one is one I can read, it says Oshizan. It's, I think, a remarkable find. I mean, it's as good as a piece of satsuma as I've ever seen on the road show. Really? Really. Where do you have it at home? Stuck in my husband's office. Whereabouts in his office? I don't like the sound of offices. <laughs> offices sound like crashing <laughs> about telephones, no, no. files no, on, a, on shelf. a shelf. It's safe, is it? Um, well, I thought so. <laughs> I'll put it in a glass cabinet when I get put home. Put it in a glass cabinet when you get home because it's worth eight to ten thousand pounds. Blimey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing it in.